okay, all right, all right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Moving right, through right, right. behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we pick this shot? Do you know? I, uh, maybe we are inspired by the, by the color and the structure. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so yes. good. It's so good. And uh, I think it was some another one of those shots that we could use as a hint to other things, too, that didn't have humans in it. So, yeah. <laughs> That was always the the tricky thing was having, having mm -hmm. to, to not have humans, but also to make something interesting too. Mm -hmm. This shot took us so much time. This shot took a lot. Of time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a lot. It was just a long one, and I think we were trying to figure yeah. out a way of of making some sort of like atmosphere in it as well too. And that was something we were working on too. But um, I mean it. We kind of pulled it off pretty close. The camera angle is a little bit shifted and changed ever so slightly, but it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, and the colors are a little bit warmer too. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it kind of came along. Before we do this, we talk about the shot though. Um, we, we should talk. Yeah, about, we, have... we should talk about yes. making this one, huh? Yeah. Originally, we were going to have this in the uh, in the edit, and um, we actually did it and finished the entire thing. <laughs> And decided not to use it. I don't know why did we not use this. You know why? It didn't fit, huh? Yeah, he, yes, just not fitting in the edit. Yeah. Also, maybe it's a little bit hard to do the animation because because in the original anime, the, the lines and the HUD things is moving. It's moving a little bit complicated. So. Yeah, like the lines and stuff for like yeah. rotating yes. and shifting and moving, and it it was pretty crazy that they did this all with like pencil and, pa and pa paint and stuff like it's pretty yes. pretty insane but yeah it was a it was kind of a complicated shot but we ended up making it though and here here it is so you guys can see it um yeah it's pretty crazy how accurate this is and let, i'm gonna let this render because it gets insane when it renders uh, all the samples but yeah, i mean check it out it's pretty close pretty close guys pretty close um, yeah, I'm going to go and, and sample like just in an area so we could see how it looks because, um, Mike had done this really beautiful texture. We were trying to mimic snow and frost and, um, the displacement. So you'd have the, 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 the stuff pushing light through the, mm -hmm. the material. You want to talk a little bit about how you explored that and found that? Uh, originally I found the technique by making the post titles, uh, uh, because from the uh, the opening uh, opening shot of post titles of post titles that I made, I oh the TV screen, huh? Yeah, TV screen. I I, I don't know. I just <laughs> I just I just put a I put a, a roughness texture to it, and, uh, and 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 I catch the moment that is pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's really yes. beautiful. And those are one so, of those, so, those awesome things that happen. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just continue, I think. Yeah, it's really cool. And you also added like, um, what is this like dust or something? These little yeah, particles. It's, yeah, just uh, a a clone of uh, some some dirt and uh, and and aside a glass material to it. So it, it we uh, uh, have some uh, uh, how to say reflection. Yeah, it's a tr it's a specular, right? This specular. Yeah, it's specular. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice. So. I just love how it scatters the light. I wish we would have finished this one, but yeah, I think it just wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit in the edit, and and that's one thing we we're really cautious of is if it doesn't fit and make sense to us, then we'll just remove it. Um, unfortunately, no matter how cool it looks, it just if it's not it's not cool enough. If it doesn't fit the edit, it's not cool enough, you know. So, mm -hmm. which was kind of an important part. But I remember this was a fun shot that we had though, and it was it was fun to make and. It was mostly entirely modeled inside of Cinema 4D, I think, if I'm not, not right. I think that's about right. Um, but yeah, it's pretty It's pretty accurate. Oh, uh, yes. To, yes, all models in Cinema 4D, like the HUDs, uh, were, were all were modeled <laughs> in, inside Cinema. Yep, yeah. Piece, piece by piece. Piece by piece, baby. Um, I could probably show some of the... This is when I started doing a little bit more texturing, too, to try and play... And learn, I was learning from you um, through the process. I think these are the buttons. Yeah, I think they are. So I would end up like I was trying to figure out how to create mm -hmm. a. Um, my goal 
for me personally was to know that everything in there was like as good as it could possibly be. So I was trying to figure out a way of mimicking like scratched and abrased like plastics and stuff. So, and then each one of these buttons had its own thing. And also it was kind of tricky if you remember to put, um, cause you have like a way the, a way a button works is you have this outer kind of glossy transparent uh -huh. and then you have the yes. light that fits inside, you know? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I just love octane and how like you can put light through things and it's not <laughs> only octane. It's just, it's a, all renders do this, but I, I, I mean, octane just has its own thing. <laughs> uh, not trying to make pay, play, play favorites. We, we, we like octane cause we use it, but yeah, I just really love the way that it, it, um, yeah, the way it looks, it just, yeah, it really yeah. came out cool. That was fun. Yeah, here's some process images. Um, this is what it looks like before we start getting crazy with all the details and stuff. And those are mm -hmm. the buttons too. I think that day I was like, oh, can I texture the buttons? Let me try that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is so fun. I think it was like a, a, a random noise on the bump map and then mm -hmm. some roughness, some very subtle roughness. Actually, no, this is a displacement subtle displacement okay. then the bump map was this noise and then some roughness that happened to it and then um you put that light underneath it and then you refract it oh, okay you change the index to to kind of be more ref reflective or not mm -hmm. the index but you you increase the the um the way that it balanced the reflections and stuff too so yeah it was fun yeah mm -hmm. yeah and, and here's some process images as mike was texturing the the rest of it and getting the the um this the frost and the snow and stuff is really cool here's a finish some finished render so you guys can see yeah it's quite beautiful mm -hmm. yeah. yeah we could do a poster maybe i don't know <laughs> yeah it's like man what can we do with this stuff you know it's like it's such yeah, a shame <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me see like if if i change the camera angle so like this is not this is the other camera okay let me turn this off. Maybe if like we flatten it out, Let's see if I go and turn it, maybe it's, there's a light in front of us. Let's get this <laughs> light. Get the visibility, um, camera visibility. Maybe it's this one. No, it's this one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe there's something it's here. I don't know. We'll have to play with this stuff. Yeah. You know? Um, I just, it's, yeah, it is a shame, right? Because we did spend all that time <laughs> and mm -hmm. it does have that cool, um, sci-fi retro Akira kind of world feel to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, but here it is. So that's, I figured we, 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 we both, um, when we started talking about showing this shot, um, this shot right here, we thought, oh yeah, we forgot to remember to show this one because it was another, <laughs> one of those dead shots that didn't make, end up making it, but I'll go ahead and get the, uh, the 28 graphic going. Cause it takes a while too. Um, yes. here it is here, here, here's the file. Um, let's go back to the, the process of all these things too. Um, so here is, a. Uh, let's go back to the Photoshop here. So here's the, the shot from the anime. Um, yeah, and just following all these details. Mm -hmm. I think the tricky thing I had was is simplifying it so that, because in the shot, it's, it's it has a total camera angle, so it was mm -hmm. kind of difficult to make, but this is the uh, Fusion 360. Um, I ended up taking the, the image and flattening it out as best I could <laughs> and then <laughs> rotating it so I could get something out of it. Mm -hmm. um, man, it was tricky. It was very tricky. Um, I kept messing up things and I knew that certain parts had to connect and other ones didn't and I kept counting like okay one two three okay that one does <laughs> that yeah it was it was quite uh, tricky yeah damn damn Otomo's awesome art but yeah <laughs> there it is there you know so um and then all the extrusions um and then eventually extruding them more off of the top plane and keeping mm -hmm. all these the the active fusion file is huge there's a ton of stuff in here Lots of bodies in this one. Oh man! Look at all this. It just keeps going. Yeah, I'll just drag this. Keep going. See how many there are in here. There's just a lot. There's 300 unique, unique little guys. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, once we did this, 
Um, I was pretty tired after this point. I was like, Mike, can you texture this? <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I, I hate this thing. No, I was excited to see what it was going to look like when we brought it into cinema. Here's kind, of, here's kind of the funny thing is you do all that work and then here's everything. You finally patch it over and you get the camera angle and then, and then it looks like this. You're like, hey, <laughs> this doesn't look good at all. <laughs> and then you got to give everything out, extra materials. And then I think this was like a really basic setup. Um, I think if I remember, I took some of the button materials that we made in the prior one and then uh, yes. just pushed them here. And mm -hmm. the way we designed this is that we had a color behind it. So there was a plastic and then a color behind it that we could then change right here. So we'd have mm -hmm. different colors, right? And then because there was like reds and yellows and blues and this orange color. And then, yeah, Mikey went kind of crazy on all the procedural. This stuff looks really great right here. Yeah, and all the textures. And then, of course, some beautiful macro shots, too, of all the details. There's, just mm -hmm. a, there's so many details in here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about this, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what, I think this is a shot that you sent to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. All right. I kind of like this desaturated look too. Looks kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ER. All the all these had um did you use a uh, Motex, I think? Yeah, Motex. Yeah. yeah, Motex is great. I love that that option inside of Cinema. Just it's it's a lot easier than extruding it and making it in other programs, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah. There it is. Yeah. These little boots, little boot prints. It's so funny. These are like footprints, <laughs> uh, little footprints everywhere. Yeah. And then there you go. Yeah. So that's kind of, that shot took a while, but once we get there, I'll just get up to the, the full, full size, but yeah. And it's animated too, which is crazy. Um, I think it animates all the way down. If I remember, I don't know if we animated all the way to the end. Let's see if I go to 50 frames. Mm -hmm. Drag this out. Did we animate it all the way? I don't know if we did. I think I think it Stops. was your you you did this animation. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think I stopped it because I was like, ugh. Because then you have to turn each one off, and then it's like a special thing. But yeah, I think I just stopped it there, which is I think it was all that we needed for the shot, and we were mm -hmm. we were busy in the middle of other things. Again, keep in mind we we have other jobs and and. You know, other things going on. I finished Edifice, and you had a title. You had two title sequences, I think, in the middle of this one too, mm -hmm. in the past year. But yeah, it's, yeah, all the way to the end here. But um, yeah, it was another really complicated, very long shot to do and get. But I, I really, yeah. I enjoyed this one. Yeah, I loved it because it's great. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, same, same. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like because um, the, 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 the English words is, is hard to for, for me to to pronounce. Same Chinese. So I just, then. so I just use great and awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you have people that don't only speak English listening to this, so you could say whatever you want, however you want to say it. If you do, if it, you can't articulate the English, just say it in Chinese. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, but it, it was it was a it was a fun shot, and it I don't know, it's cool. There's a ton of details in it, and it only I think it only is on for like 15 frames, which is not even a second of animation. So mm -hmm. yes, it's probably like two months worth of work, and then there you go. So yeah, I think the the thing we're trying to say is if you you got to love what you do with this stuff, and then that's it. There's no other way to do it because it just sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's rewarding in different steps, you know? So it's like, all right, it's a challenge. And then you accomplish the challenge at different steps and then it's done. And then you just have to let it go because it's like on moving on to the next thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But exactly. You did a beautiful job on the textures. They look, they look outstanding. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. You're so good, Mike. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just love like this. I don't know. My, my eye keeps going right here. Like I love <laughs> this area. It's my favorite part of the whole thing. I, mm -hmm. I'm like everything else, eh? But like everything, I was like, yeah, I just <laughs> love this part right here. <laughs> I just love the way that the light disperses. Like I'm gonna get out mm -hmm. of this camera. I'm gonna go closer to it because I just want to see it. 
So mm -hmm. here and here, and we go closer into this area right over here. It's so cool. And I'm just going to render a screenshot of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just looks so cool the way it's scattering the light and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, this was, this was a fun shot and it was just very challenging, but I'm happy we finished it and, mm -hmm. and it came together too. So hopefully Otomo likes it too. <laughs> hopefully you like it, Otomo. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it, your art is so hard to translate. It's so hard. It's so hard, but we tried, we tried our best. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty spot to like, we try to get everything like, look at the D10 like everything d3 look at oh there's d3 um all the numbers are exactly mm -hmm. see all they're all matching um up5 yeah i think that's a three. <laughs> oh well can mix that one but yeah pretty close d12 yeah. yeah there we go so not too bad not too bad got it pretty mm -hmm. close so <laughs> yeah look at that it's so cool i just love this area it looks so cool yeah Good times. Anything else yeah. you want to talk about with this one? I think it's all, yeah. Yeah, all done? Done with this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a long one. It's a, it's a combination of two shots. So, mm -hmm. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll see you guys on the next one then. Yeah, see you guys. All right.